The first thing I did for this Batman Beyond intro was look for a 3D model instead of modeling it myself. And there were a few out there, but ultimately I went with this one. It kind of had this tactical look that felt more like what a live action reboot might look like. The ones that were a little more accurate to the animated series didn't feel like they would pass as something live action. One thing about this model though, is that I thought Batman was too beefy. It kind of felt like Batman and not Batman Beyond. One thing that I always liked about Terry McGinnis is that he was kind of like Spider-Man in the sense that he was a young high schooler and kind of like a skinnier guy. And I wanted to make sure that even though I was using this kind of big buff 3D model that I was making him a bit skinnier. So I took all the different pieces of his body and uh, just kind of scaled them down uh, in every way except for the Z axis. So he was just as tall, but just a little bit thinner. That kind of took a little bit of time to go through each individual piece. So the legs, the leg armor, the belt, the torso, the arms, things like that. In addition to that, I wanted to make sure his eyes were white instead of red. I downloaded this model with this pose that had fists and I couldn't really get the fists to the fingers to uncurl. So I brought a 3D model of an arm, scaled it to be in the right location. Then I applied the texture from the model to this arm. And then in the UV editor, just lined everything up uh, and then used some proportional editing just to make sure all the fingers and things all lined up correctly. So it took a little bit of time, but ultimately I ended up with an open hand with the same texture as the original model. Then I could also take the fingers and extend them a little bit so they're kind of a little longer and sharper like claws. From there, I exported this revised model and brought it into Mixamo. So you can upload an FBX or OBJ version of your own model, and then you can give it its own animations. And this is what I did throughout the entire intro sequence. The auto rigging that Mixamo did kind of messed up the fingers. And so if you look really closely in some of the shots, his fingers are way wrong, but for the most part, he's running or zooming by and there's motion blur, so you don't really notice. For all of the close-up shots that required seeing his hands, so when he kind of extends his fist and you see his claws, and then uh, the kind of final pose, I uh, manually animated those. So I added my own bones to the fingers, made it an IK rig, and then animated it manually. 